Welcome to another edition of Something Came From Baltimore. My name is Tom Galker, and tonight we have Roosevelt Collier on the phone with us. Roosevelt Collier is an in-demand steel guitar player, runs all over the genres of gospel to blues, to jam bands, to world music. If the music is good and there's a steel guitar on it, chances are Roosevelt Collier is on the credits. After years of working with other artists, Roosevelt Collier just stepped out in front and released his first solo recording called Exit 16 on the Ground Up label. Welcome, Roosevelt Collier, to Something Came From Baltimore. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you so much for even thinking about me, man. I'm honored. You have a great album called Exit 16. And how I found out about you to begin with was you're in a band, and I, I'm going to say the name wrong, Bacanti? Bacanti. Bacanti. It's crazy, man. It's like, you know what, man, um, if you can phantom like world music, Infused with like you know like you know like Afro roots, um, really like you know like you know like African beat, um, mixed with like rock and roll, like you know Led Zeppelin. Yeah, um, this is the new direction. I think this is where people are going to be going, and America hasn't really dug into it radio wise. But boy, is it funky and it's it's. Uh, I think more people just need to get exposed. I mean, man, I you know what? I, mean, I think man, just overall, I think that you know what. This country, like as a whole, is coming back around to real music, you know? Exercise, exercise, exercise. 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 C'est vous qui n'y raison Et les mouns qui entendent Y'a pas besoin de vivre plus longtemps Faut mouns choisir un bon Espérer c'est le bon Elle nous qui mort Bon Dieu qui fait qu'on nous content Qui j'en nous qui fait arriver Rentrer en cas à bon Dieu
And it's weird. When I'm looking yeah. at your press bio, it says that you are soft-spoken by nature. It seems like everyone wants to say that about you. And um, <laughs> I, I'm, I don't – what does that mean? I mean, you know what, man? Just by nature. I mean, you know, I'm soft-spoken. You know, like I'm not like a aggressive and, you know, like, you know, loud and wild guy. So, you know, like everything about me is calm, you know? So you're chill, not soft-spoken. Yeah. All right. You know, I was watching a YouTube clip of you doing Papa Was a Rolling Stone, which I thought was one of the coolest versions I ever saw. It was so funky. Oh, thank you, dude. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> but, but you were behind the mic. You were uh, leading the crowd. You were the one that was getting everyone up in charge. Is that hard for you yeah. to be chill and no, no, also no, no, be no. the lead? No, 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 no. Like, you know what, man? On stage, is different. You know what, man? You know what? Like, on stage, man, there's a click button that that stays on you know like it's time you know what man it's time to go you know well you've so, been doing this basically as a child you've been on yeah, stage for years in church so you know what that's basically my first stage you know like in front front of like you know like a big crowd every church service three four four nights a week you know that's the worst critics that you can ever have you know <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. it's in church man. It, 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 it's the worst thing cause, because brother like you know what man if you play something wrong they go tell you they go, they, they, uh, 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 that's not right. That's not right. You have to go work on it, you know? But once it gets right, then it gets right, you know? I never did this to anyone else. I'm going to ask you Come some on. questions. Say whatever's on the top of your mind. What's your favorite color? Blue. What's your favorite food? Man, fish and grit. Cat or dog or neither? Neither. Uh, favorite sports team? Uh, Miami Heat. Miami Hurricane. I'm a Miami fan. Uh, pro Russian or anti Russian? Anti. Uh, favorite TV show? Just because, man, it's so much crap. That's, that's, on these things now. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I do like Blacklist, okay? Blacklist. <laughs> Your favorite album of all time? I can't answer that. That's fair. No. Where is Exit 16? Exit 16 is where to my end, Florida, and get off on Exit 16 and turn left. Um, that's my neighborhood. If you could be on anyone's album and contribute, who would it be? Like any any artist? Oh, Dear, oh, dear Trucks. Dare trucks. All right. Well, you're pretty close to them, right? You, I saw on YouTube. Oh, you, you've you've worked with them oh, live, man. right? Yeah, but yeah, but man, Dare is like yeah, man. Dare trucks is is one of one of the nicest guys, and I mean, for like steel players, man. <laughs>
Exit 16 seems to be a little more uh, rock influenced and more jam band. Yeah. Where yeah, where yeah, are yeah, your yeah, influences? Man. Like it it seems like you're you're Hendrix. Man, man, man. so <laughs> yeah. I'm born and raised like in the sound of sick and still. You know that's the that's the genre like of the gospel that it is. You know, and and but I mean like you know and I was always like you know what man influenced, but I, I like other things. So next is sixteen is my current background. You know, it's basically showing who I am where i'm from but where i'm going you know you're in the uh ground up if people don't know who that is there that's the label for snarky puppy and they created yes. a label but by far you're in an incubation tube where you're just dealing with some phenomenal musicians who are young and like-minded and, and creative oh my god bro it's great man that label have a roster of just talent you know Everybody got their own thing, and man, I'm so one man. I'm well, uh, like you know, I'm grateful that they, you know, man, even thought about me, and man, I'm grateful that Mike thought enough about me to do this record for me. You know, you know, I mean, the first thing I told Mike, I said, I said, look, Mike, man, I need help with me putting this still in another light. Like you know what, man, I need you to help me get my sound that's in my head. You know, that I can't put down on the record. You know, and man, Mike came in, man, he and dude, man, he did Mike lead. <laughs> The three videos that you've released for the album so far, I don't think people realize what you're doing with a steel guitar. They had a camera angle on you where, I mean, because normally you're just sitting down in a chair and no one can see your hand movements and stuff. I mean, you're killing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> man, thank you, man. Mm -hmm. No, look, you know what, man? That comes with nothing but fun. You know what, man? That session was the honor, man. I had so much fun playing with Bobby Spark, J.P. Thomas, and Mike Lee. That's my first time playing with those guys like that ever it felt like home you know mm -hmm. so so like you know what like everything felt just natural you know so so dude that's why man i do oh my goodness man i mean i'm just just thinking about just the times that we were sharing man and bro it was awesome like you know what man every take was like okay this is it no this one is it oh no oh god all right, this one is it you know like it was good you know like it was a good vibe good energy man great guys you know
have a gospel, blues, rock, and jam band background, and this record has all that. There is like hints of Hendrix. There's some like hints of yeah. Van Halen in there. Um, <laughs> did, did you just feel like you had an open like freedom to just to express yourself any way you you felt? Well, I mean, yeah, of course. But you know, I mean, you know what? But I wanted to keep it still, like in a certain realm, you know, be, because I have a lot of a lot of background, and I just thought for this record, you know what? Let's let's just put it to you know like a certain form of you know like you know like of my roots and and that's that's what happened you know that's that's how that we have this more like you know like you know raw deal like bluesy edgy jam band you know type stuff you know soulful stuff you know you have uh three songs that are produced on videos already and i totally recommend audience to take a listen to those before you get the album it'll kind of just blow you away i want to talk about all three of those and then i also want to talk about another one what was your thoughts on creating spike spike let's talk about spike man spike was written by mike lee and myself man um so so mike came with me was like rosy like you know my god this 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 like junkyard deadly real like you know like at first like you know when the song name was called junkyard you know mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know what man um spike got it you know like you know when it stuck out but man mike was like rosy when i got this this riff and we played it and you know we played it and you know and i put a line with it and you know what man it just it man it just turned very dirty yeah very very dirty and that was that sound. I was like, I was like, wow. I was like, you know what? Let's play with these sounds with this tune. And yeah, man, Spike was made, man. So man, Spike is the song that is going to transcend to the next record. You know, that's the part of the album of where I'm going. You know. <laughs>
the, the next song is now my new favorite song, which is Supernatural Encounters. Yeah. Yeah, 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 man. That's my roots. That's my first roots. That's my gospel background right there, you know? Supernatural, that's where I'm from. Mm-hmm. That's my Sunday morning joy. That's my Sunday morning job. Um, shop music. <laughs> Exit 16, which is their third video that you created. And yes, sir. That's that's my that's that's my own. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I mean, you know what? Like everything, you know what, man? Everything I do goes back 
to X616. That's where, that's my home base. So I'm from South, you know, that's the swamps, you know. So, you know what, this this tune was made to be like, you know, like a dirty, swampy, you know, tune, you know, and I kind of got that going, you know.
really like Happy Feet. I think it's pretty awesome. Happy Can, Feet, yes, man. Can you talk about that yeah, a little? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like you know, man, Happy Feet, man. That's that's more of a of a of a like you know like Afrobeat song. That man, it feels good. You know, it makes you dance. You know, that's my feel good um um tune. <laughs>
Rose of Al Collier, how do how do people get in contact with you? Yeah, man, um, they they can get in touch with me, of course, on like you know you know all the social media, Facebooks, um, the Roosevelt the doctor dot com. Yeah, just just like you know what, man, anywhere social media, the Roosevelt Collier. You know, that's that's like you know what, like you can look me up. I'm not about to give up my cell phone. But <laughs> yeah, but yeah, man. But, but you did give him, like, you gave him directions on how to get to you though with exit 16. <laughs> I gave them, but they don't, they don't know the address. It's a difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. That's awesome. Thank you, uh, Roosevelt Collier, for talking to me on something came from Baltimore. No problem, man. Thank you so much, man.